the uh, habit of uh, uh, the secretary uh, to give envelopes to, his, uh, to her people. Nang lang po, would you also receive envelopes from Michelle Pajarda? Parang ikinawento ni Yusek Mercado, envelope containing cash. O si yes. Tama po ba? O si yes. Yes, sir. Good afternoon po. O si yes, you are recognized. Thank you po. Uh, this is in regards to Yusek Gloria Mercado regarding po to sa statement niya last hearing. According to her, uh, nag-glance kayo sometimes in October 2023 sa Linden Suites. Do you confirm that? Uh, Good afternoon again, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. I confirm that. Uh, it was, there was an activity. I think it was a training on um, procurement. And um, I'm just not quite sure about the date, but there was such an activity. October. Yeah. October, sir. October. Yes. Apat yata kayo. The two is DepEd uh, consultant. Tama po? Initially, sir, we were not just four. We were a group, including our staff. And then, but we were in one long table, and uh, yes, with two others, me, Yusek Law, and some other staff, sir. And during that meeting, according to Yusek Gloria Mercado, nung last hearing po, nilapitan daw siya ni Asik Munsaya, uh, at nagsabing mag-usap-usap na lang kayo tungkol sa bidding para sa DepEd Computerization Program for 2022. According to her, that statement was made to her in your presence. Totoo po ba to? Um, I only call in that meeting that um, then ASEC uh, Reynolds will yes, answer. Yes, I'm sorry. Totoo He's responsive ba? to the question. Yes, yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, totoo uh, po. Sa pagkakaalala niya po, anong sinabi talaga? Yung talagang salita ni Asik mong saya. Ano po ang naiintindihan niya po? Um, Asik, we were discussing, I think it was about the utilization of the, the, the funds for the procurement, sir. And um, he, it was a discussion like there was something like uh, there is a need to, to be able to utilize the funds immediately. And uh, there was some kind of an, a remark that, you know, uh, something like, uh, maybe pwede naman na lang pag-usapan ng kung paano maayos, basta importante, ma-utilize yung fund because the fund for the procurement was about to lapse on the, in December of 2023. I understand this fund was 2022, sir. Uh, by the way, sir, uh, just for purposes of background, no? I'm, I was quite new in the department. I just joined the department sometime in January of the so, year. So, like okay yes, sir. At that time, uh, you were already familiar with Mr. Monsaya. Kilala niyo na po siya as assistant secretary? He, uh, if I recall it right, I was former HR director, sir. Yeah. So, if I recall it right, uh, Asak Monsaya was a the appointment of Asak Munsayak was, I think, October 1st of 2023. So, um, I he was he was uh, presented as one of the new officers of the DepEd. I think in that flag ceremony of that week. So that was the first time I saw him, and uh, I think the very first interaction uh, with him was on that. So, no, 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 po yung statement niya ni Asik Monsaya, what is your reaction? Um, well, uh, I was a bit surprised, but at the same time, I was also amused, sir, because uh, as a lawyer, if, if I, I thought it was just a joke, no? the, the, the offhand remark or something like talking about it, I, I thought it was some kind of a joke. It was just nothing. I didn't really mind it that much. Thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. So, Mr. Chair, mukhang totoo nga na may naging Pahayag si Mr. Monsaya kung saan uh, sinabi niya kay Yusek Gloria na noong panahon na yun, as head of procuring entity na siya nagre-review ng dokumento ng mga bidders, uh, pinagsabihan niya nga na ituloy na lang. At kung saan hindi tinanggap ni Yusek Gloria yung mong kahi na yun, 
at uh, dapat masunod yung tamang proseso. Nakakapagtaka lang, Mr. Mr. Chair, na si ASEC ay uh, head ng procurement at malapit na kaibigan ni BP Duterte na siya pang nagpahayag o nagpahiwating sa isang head ng procuring entity at pati na rin sa harap, sa harap ng isang back chair person. Mr. Oseas, no willing hearing, sinabi din po ni Yusek Mercado na kayo'y isang director sa DepEd. Totoo po ba ito? Yes, sir. Uh, I, am, I was the former, at that time, I was the direct report of Yusek Law. I was under her strap as the director of HR. Kailan po kayo na-appoint? Um, I was appointed January 7, 12, I think, and then, but I reported January 17 of 2023, Your Honor. 2023? Yes, sir. Yeah. Ano po yung posisyon niya talaga? Director 4, ho. Hanggang so, ilang director po pa na? Director 6, 7? Ah, hindi ho. Ah, Direct, ang pinakahayas yeah, po na director five. is Director 4, ho. Sorry. Director 4. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ano po yung responsibility ng Director po? Uh, depende ho sa assignment, Mr. Chair, or Your Honor. Kayo po, kayo po, Mr. Uh, Osias. Ano po yes, sir. Uh, I was, my responsibility is primarily on HR, Human Resource and Organizational Development. So, um, kami po yung in charge ng mga programs natin with respect to teachers, and then the non-teaching personnel, and then yung uh, kami rin po ang in charge doon sa organizational effectiveness and the uh, benefits that we can probably give our teachers so through our offices. Aside from that uh, position, meron pa ba kayong ibang hinawakan sa DepEd? Uh, well, sometime in November, sometime November of 2023, sir, I was designated as the chair of the BAC 6. No? BAC 6 is the early pro procurement activity uh, designated back. Back. Yes, sir. Bits and awards. Sige. Na-mention niyo po na back member nung panahon na yun. Sino po ang back chair at that time? Ah, hin sir, sa no, no November, back chair ho ako. Naging back chair ho ako Naging ng back, back six. Chair ng back six ho. Yung back six. But, uh, yun ho. Sige po. Uh, hindi ba po pagkaganyang malaking government agency, especially yung DepEd, sometimes maraming mga box assigned for the procurement of particular category. In the back that you specifically belong, ano pong mga bagay yung procurement ang kailangan dumaan sa inyo? Uh, particular? Yes, sir. Um, as far as I recall, ang, ang, ang dumaan sa akin ho ay laptops. Laptop. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, laptops for teaching, non-teaching, and uh, yung DCP project. Oh. So, kabilang po dito yung procurement relating to DepEd computerization program. Yes, sir. Po. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 2024 20, ang original ko. Noong back member kayo, naging party po ba kayo ng October and December 2023 bids for the DCP? Ah, yes, sir. I was also um, before the 2024, uh, before the November designation as back chair, I was also part of the DCP 2022, which was bidded in 2023. Yes, sir. Na-mention niyo rin po na naging back chair person. Ay, kailan kayo naging chair person po ng back? I think if I'm not mistaken, around November na po ng 2023. November ng 2023. Or is it December? Something November or December, sir? Kasi... I, my memory is not really at this point. Na-recall niyo pa po yung mga project na dumaan sa inyo as back chair? Yes, sir. Uh, the DC, the, the, originally, I was, since I was handling the back six, it is supposed to be the early procurement activity back, no? The back in charge for early procurement activity. So, kasama ho, yung na-recall ko ho is the DCP project for 2024, who sana? For 2024 DCP project. And, um, Laptop for teachers, laptop for non-teaching personnel. Ganun to yung aking nare-recall na, na... So, up to now po, are you still working with DepEd bilang director at back chair? Um, not anymore as back chair, sir, but I am still working with DepEd. Yes, but I am no longer connected with the HR. I have been reassigned under the new administration. I have been reassigned to the 
Office of the Under Secretary for Procurement. So, pwede kong sabihin, ranking official pa rin kayo ng DepEd. In terms of the fact that I am an appointed director, sir, yes. Yeah. And you play an important role. Kasi kaya parte ng back before, di po ba? That overseas yung DCP, yung computerization. A flagship program of the DepEd. Is that correct? Yes, sir. As far as I am concerned at that time, sir. Tanong lang po. Would you also receive envelopes from Michelle Paharda? Parang ikinamento ni Yusek Mercado. Envelope containing cash. All right. Um, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. No, I must. I must be candid about this. Um, I. I must say I did, but I didn't know because I was new in the department. I thought it was a practice of the department. I thought, you know, I. The very first time I encountered that matter, sir, was sometime in April of of 2023. Uh, I didn't know why it, we were. I was summoned to to the office of the of an ASEC shine, and then I was given an envelope. And uh, it was later on I found out that there was money in it, but. It was not because I was a back member or whatever yet, because I was not at that time. At, at that last hearing, sabi ni Yosek Mercado, kung natatandaan ko, nine envelopes yung natanggap niya, amounting to 50,000 each. Sa inyo pong uh, pagkakaalala, hanggang kailan kayo nakatanggap na envelope? Ilan? It started April. I think it was until September of that year. Up to September 2023. Yes, sir, but I, if I recall it right, I was only summoned about four times to the office. Four times? Yes. I, Up I, to September 2023. Yes, sir. So, yung last quarter po, wala na kayo natanggap? Wala na po. Wala. So, in other words, wala na kayong envelope na natanggap ng fourth quarter ng 2023. Tama po? Yes, sir. Mukhang sumakto, ha? Sa panahon na hindi na ginamit ng DepEd yung confidential fund for the last quarter nang pumuputong ng issue ng confidential fund. Eh, anyway, uh, Mr. Osias, I think this was also mentioned by the BP in a press conference na nags, magkano po pala yung laman? Pinata, magkano po laman ng envelope? Um, I think it was something like be, between 12 to 15, sir. Hindi ko na ako matandaan yung laman talaga. Trust the very uh, minimal amount, yes, sir. Okay. Mr. Osias, uh, last week din po, after nung nandito si Yusek Mercado, meron din pong press conference si Vice President. According to the Vice President, nagsolicit daw po si Yusek Gloria from private companies using the name of the DP which is supposedly the reason why she was let go kaya sa tinanggal so based po sa dokumento na inilabas ito ay patungkol sa programang Death Ed Guru are you familiar with that uh, project? Uh, yes sir I am familiar with the Death Ed Guru project because I am supposed to be the project owner of that okay. uh, program sir uh, Mr. Chair can you explain to us briefly what this project is about? Um, early on when I joined the department about maybe a few weeks after I joined the department and as normally done by former USEC law no? um, she would she would come up with a list of things for us to do and um, I recall that there were tasks given to us I think it was after she went on a on a birthday trip. By whom? There were about. I'm sorry, sir. There were about forty tasks that had has to be accomplished by our strand, the HR and OD strand, including the other other um, components of that strand, sir. So, does the HR strand or the HR OD strand and NAYAP and Tex? Um, we had about forty tasks. Out of the forty. There were about 27 that pertains to my to my um, bureau, so for HR and OD, and uh, I recall that one of the priorities of 
that we were informed no, by USEC by USEC law, one of the priorities that we need to deliver as a strand um, is some kind of a chatbot wherein the secretary can connect directly with our teachers. Uh, meaning that the, the idea was um, for her to be to be able to or for the teachers to be able to connect with her directly so that she can immediately respond to this with, with the secretary. Yes, yes, sir. And uh, there were three assigned to me, and the other two were um, uh, a PDIS, we call it a PDIS, an information system on all the employees of the department. And the other one was um, a hiring process which will minimize the engagement of the human intervention. No? So, the computations were all um, uh, done by the system, something like that. So there were three. So Dem Ed Guru was more on the aspect of uh, that, that parang immediately makakausap ni VP yung, yung uh, mga teacher so they can immediately raise to her the concern. Kasi the, the, the thing there, sir, is if you use the, the idea there is if you use the current social media processes like um, uh, Messenger, uh, etc. No, there are about at that time there were about 888,000 plus teachers. So just imagine if a teacher comes up with a um, with a concern, and there were so many of them, uh, matatabunan lang ho yung kanyang concern, and there is no possibility for, for example, the VP to be able to answer the the concern. So there has to be some kind of uh, uh, a different approach to it, some kind of. Uh, uh, technological um, approach wherein it will ensure that the VP is able to answer all these concerns because there are really many of our teachers. Thank you. So uh, the deputy guru sir is for that purpose. According to Yusek Mercado din po at that time, nangailangan din kayo ng external uh, partners para sa project na to. Tama po? Uh, yes. Um, actually, as far as I recall, uh, there was an activity wherein our our strands were asked what are your projects what are your concerns and uh, we were supposed to there there is an office in DepEd that is that is supposed to be in charge of coordinating us our pro, uh, the strands or whatever the the concerns of the strands with an external partner and they're the ones who actually are supposed to help us so may an office na in charge para sa pagbili ng external partners tama po Yes, sir. So, sinasabi niyo ba walang direct ang pagpili sa mga external partner? I mean, you and you, Sek Mercado, hindi kayo yung namili na external partners. Tama ba? Yes, sir. I, mean, I, I for one, am not involved in the in the process. I I just sit there when we they, we make a presentation on what is that guru all about. I'm so just it, part of the... Yeah, so with that, Mr. Chair, sino ang pumipili o nag-i-entertain ng mga external partners para sa mga ganyang partners, especially yung DepEd Guru? Um, there is an office. Uh, I think it's the External Partnership Services. Uh, external Partnership Partners. Service or Services. Services. I think that's, that's, that's the office or is it the ICO? It's either of the two. So, para sa department sa DepEd yun? Yes, sir. Yes, And sir. it is not under New Sec Mercado? No, no, no. It's a different oh, office. So, malayo. Sa pagkakaalam po ninyo, ano yung mga kailangan programang ito mula sa external partners? But why you need that external partners? Ano yung kailangan nyo sa kanila? Well, from what I understand, at that time um, the the need for the for the technological um, thing that the, the VP wanted to have um, we cannot do it on our own because there is I don't know there is no budget for it so we need we need external partners to help us make it uh, turn it into fruition or to make it um, to accomplish that program sir so I think that is the that is the answer to that. When you say external partner, kailangan nyo, hindi pera ang sinulisit nyo sa external partner or pera yun? Uh, if, 
I will relate it to the DepEd guru. It was not money that we wanted to... Hindi that, pera. Uh, yes, sir. It was like... Because the DepEd guru is a, has, a, has components, no? It's, it's, it's like technology and other matters, no? hardware, software. Um, so... So, gamit. Gamit, sir. I think that is the word, mga components. No, not, kung, not really money, sir. Sir, sir, kung may alam po kayo, anong gamit yun, kung alam nyo? Okay, so... If I recall the, this right, no, I, uh, the DepEd guru will involve, for example, sir, some kind of, uh, uh, yung ano ho dun sa, for example, sa truck, meron ho sa likod na parang lalagyan ho, parang malaking, uh, tapos may wheels, uh, parang, uh, ano ba ang tawag dito? Yung, uh, parang, yung sa likod dun ng truck, di ba, for example, mga, yeah. mga trucks uh -huh. na mga refrigera refrigerator, refrigerated trucks, Di ba yung likod daw, parang may mga uh, closed na portions at may gulong? Yeah. Uh, for example, yan no, is, is one kasi the design, the design is nandun sa loob nun yung mga gadgets na ilalagay because the intention was to have three of these kinds of uh, equipment in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So, i-deploy yun siya para kung mayroong conflagration, kung mayroong nangyaring masama, hindi ho Una, makakausap pa rin ni VP yung mga students or concerns or whatever. And then, independently powered ho siya. Component ho siya talaga ng buo. So, meron siyang, meron siyang laptops, meron siyang uh, solar panel. Marami ho siyang components or para ma-insure lang na kahit walang kuryente dun sa lugar, tuloy-tuloy pa rin, tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang magiging communication ng, ng VP. Ganun lang ang pagkaintindi ko doon sa... So, Mr. Sa Jen, with that yung equipment na yun, kanina po mapupunta yun or saan napunta yun? Uh, hindi ho natuloy yung project. So, hindi natuloy. Hindi natuloy yun. So, walang nakuha na personal na pera o gamit, equipment, si Yusek Mercado sa paghanap niya ng external partner para sa DepEd Guru Program. Negative? Uh, I can only speak up to the extent that I interact with use a like for example in the office uh, if, if that is the basis of that the premise your and i don't think there was any kasi wala naman hindi naman ho natuloy yung project sige sa pagkakaalam niyo po Mr. Chair uh, palagay niya ba importante itong project na to na magkaroon ng direktang komunikasyon yung halos 900,000 almost 1 million na teacher at si BB sa ilalim ng guru program Uh, I can only speak, sir, from from experience. No, I am a survivor of the Yolanda tragedy. Uh, it almost killed me and my family. Um, as far as I'm concerned, there is really a need to have um, things like this during a conflagration, especially for purposes of our kids now continuing with their education despite everything that happens. No. So, to my mind, it is something that we really need to have. But, uh, of course, the, the program did not push through, so it's not something I... So, in short, ito yung naging priority project ni Pepe Duterte sana. Sir, um, that was the information I got, or we got, from, from the USEC. Kasi siya naman ho ang nakakausap sa Exico, hindi naman ako involved. Kung ano lang ho yung pinapaba sa amin, yun lang ho yung aming extent ng knowledge kung ano ang mga kailangan ho talaga. Ano ba ang difference ng priority project kumpara do sa regular project nyo sa DepEd? The way I understood it, sir, is that ang priority projects, these are immediate ang need. No? Um, while the other projects... These are projects, many of the other projects have been there for the longest time, pero hindi ho gumagalaw. That's why, as I was saying earlier, there were about 40 that the Strand, HROD, and uh, NAYAP, and, uh, and uh, TEX had to do, no? These were the 40 identified projects that we need to do, but out of the 40, 27 are for the BHROD, and out of the 27, there were about three that were priority projects of the 
of the VP including um, yung chatbot nga ho or itong naging guru ang aming pinag-usapan. Thank you po. So in short talagang alam niya to at priority project to ni Vice President Sara Duterte. Tama po ba? Well, um, I am not quite sure if the VP directly know about the project but we present this project every time every time there is a strand or um, um, Exicom or Exicom meetings or I think that is when it is presented uh, but Exicom hindi na ho kasi ako kasali doon she is aware so in short Mr. Chairman ang DepEd Guru program sa katotohan na isang legitimate project ng DepEd na isang priority project rin ni VP Duterte kung saan ang mga external partners ay hindi pinili ni Yusek Mercado kundi ng ibang opisina sa ilalim ng DepEd. Dagdag pa rito, walang pondo o kagamitan na personal na makukuha si Yusek Mercado sa programang ito. Nakakabahala lang, Mr. Chair, na isang directive ng pinuno ay siya rin gagawing rason na paikot-ikutin upang sa pilitang magtanggal ng isang career, career government official tulad ni Yusek Gloria Mercado. And that's all, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Congressman Abante, you are recognized. Uh, uh, Attorney CS admitted that he has received envelopes. I'm not saying it's wrong, no? It can be an appreciation thing or a love gift, whatever it might be. I don't think it's wrong. Uh, pero... If that is actually the the uh, habit of uh, uh, the secretary uh, to give envelopes to, his, uh, to her people, I wonder if uh, uh, only Yusek Mercado or you receive envelope. Perhaps uh, Yusek uh, Mempin should also say something about that or anybody here among the Tibet family because uh, as I've said, no, when you receive an envelope, there was no thinking that uh, there's anything, anything wrong with that. Wala kaming inaiisip na masama yan. Just, you know, you're under oath and just tell us about it and thank you for telling us that. Yes. As, uh, uh, sir, um, I, again, I must say that when I, I was called and, you know, received an envelope, I, I initially I thought that it is how it is in DepEd because I did not come from DepEd. So, uh, to be honest, I was I was grateful because um, it it helps a lot. No, we are we are from the I am from the province. So, parang where, where, where were you before, Tony Aria? Oh, yeah. Before you went to DepEd, where, what, where were you before? Uh, I spent more or less twenty five years in another agency, sir. Uh, in the private uh... no 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 government also government then. yes sir okay i just came across the deped and then yung um posting so you you were thinking that uh, you know uh leaving an envelope is just something that uh, uh that happens in deped once in a while or is, and, and you're grateful i really appreciate that no as as, as, as i've said we're not thinking of anything wrong in receiving those envelopes. I'm just, we're just wondering, how many of our deaf and family receive envelopes too? We're just wondering. If yeah. Tony O'Sias uh, was able to say and, 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 uh, and tell us the truth about that, and uh, perhaps Yusek Mercado, uh, Yusek Mempin, can you say something about that? Uh, yes, Sir Honor, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, for me, sir, uh, I have not uh, received any envelope coming from uh, uh, ASEC uh, Sunshine. Oh, you have not received any envelope? Yes, so, uh, for me, sir. Uh, ibig sabihin, eh, uh, only some special people receive envelopes like that. And you're not too special, am I? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm not uh, aware of, of it, sir. Can you say something about yes, that? Sir. You're the spokesperson. Yes, sir. Uh, when I was hope, sir, I, I became hope. No, I I can categorically say I was not able to receive a single envelope at all. But uh, I do remember sometime 
December 2022 or early December, I did receive uh, an envelope, just minimal amount. And at times, pag nagsasabi, may mga times kasi sir na uh, candidly, medyo napagalitan ako because nag-aabono daw ako. Because when people come to me as a spokesperson, sometimes they tell problems, I would give, ang, at the end of the day, ang kailangan lang pala nila, 3,000, 5,000, so nagbibigyan ko personally. So there were instances, occasional, although not regularly, not like monthly at all, that I would I I would receive, but not from ASIC Shine. I would uh, when the, when I would tell the BP like no Christmas, the BP gave it to me. Well, there are times. But yes, uh, I did receive occasionally. There are times, uh, you know, you when you appreciate stuff. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. When I appreciate my stuff, I would uh, sometimes give envelopes. Yes, sir. Too. Occasionally, yes. I think it's this. Uh, uh, Tony Monsayak, you you promised that you're going to submit a, I think a rebuttal. To uh, yes, Your Honor. In fact, I only learned uh, I only learned today that I was being directed to submit the documents, and I will comply, Your Honor. Uh, before the next hearing date, I will uh, submit the documents requested of me. Your Honor. Before the before the next hearing date, Your Honor, I'm just gonna compile it and submit it to the committee, Your Honor. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, how many days will it take? Maybe three, Your Honor. Maybe three. Three days. Okay, we yeah. will expect that. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Um, Mr. Chair, can I just make a manifestation? Uh, yes, please continue, Congressman. Uh, I have a very high regard on the armed forces. Very high. You are professional soldiers. Uh, you seek my pin, correct? But your General Kajau, Colonel Baran Singh, all of you. Uh, very high regard ako sa armed forces of the Philippines. Okay? Uh, like uh, my good friend here, uh, Congressman Ako, who used to be a general. Ma Masyadong respect ko sa inyo. I hope that you're going to remain above politics. Because, listen, your only accountability is to the Commander-in-Chief. No one else. Not the mayor, not anyone else, but the commander-in-chief. And that's the president of the republic. Of course, that includes the secretary of the public national defense. So please, I'm asking you, sana ma-maintain ninyo yung high regard ko at high regard ng maraming tao sa inyo. Please be about politics. Yun lang po, manifestation ko. Yes, Congress, uh, Senior Deputy Speaker, Don Gonzalez. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Meron lang akong gusto i-clarify. Uh, yung Youth Leadership Summit, uh, that's under DepEd po? That's under uh, college students, di ba po? Hindi po siya under DepEd as far as I know, yeah. sir. Bakit narinig ko na YLS, the Youth Leadership Summit, palaging bigastos? And that's under the uh, our, our college students, di ba? Hindi ako yung makasabi. Sino ko ang sasagot? Kasi kanina pa natin ang isa. Major General Bahaw. Thank you, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Well, kadalasan po, Your Honor, ang mga partisipante nito ay mga youth, high school students, and college students po. Kasama na rin po ang mga out-of-school youths and uh, even yung mga IP youths natin. In the case of uh, Mindanao, kasama dito yung mga Muslim youth po, uh, Your Honor. So meaning halo-halo po sila, not only college students? Yes, Your Honor. Um, across all sectors, lalo na yung mga kabataan po, Your Honor, na walang access po talaga sa education. Ito po yung mga inuuna natin sa ganitong klaseng mga summits. Salamat po, Mr. Chairman.